Well, good evening, Southern West Virginia. A very pleasant day we've had out there. Plenty of sunshine to be seen, and we're still seeing that right now outside in Beckley. You can see very little way of cloud cover across the skies out there. Still seeing a lot of sun on the roadways as you're heading on home from work. But this is a great night to get outside and enjoy some of that nice weather if you've not had time to do so yet today. Now, temperatures today were a couple degrees cooler than they were the past several days. Current temperatures right now actually sitting in those mid to upper 70s, even sunspots still holding on to the lower 80s, mainly just down in Pineville. We're seeing right at 80 degrees, 74 right now in Beckley, 77 over in Hinton and 79 down in Linside. So we're trying to get things a little bit warmer here, but we're still going to start to cool things back off in those mid to upper 50s before all is said and done tonight. Now we are staying under mostly dry and mostly sun or cloud free skies out there for us tonight. Of course, we're going to pick up just a few more clouds starting to roll back in. You can see a couple of clouds rolling in across the Ohio West Virginia border right now. And that's what we will continue to see through the overnight hours tonight as high pressure is still very much in control. Notice the kind of the clockwise motion in the clouds here over much of our region. That is that big dome of high pressure. Now that will start drifting off toward the north and east over the next couple of days. But it's going to allow another cold front which is currently sitting way back here up in the northern Rockies, basically stretching from Montana back through parts of Idaho. That front will move in our general direction over the course of the weekend and bring us some rain chances heading into the day on Sunday and even into the early part of next week as well. So, but in the meantime, all we're going to deal with is just a few of those clouds out there for our evening tonight. Temperatures will continue to drop down in the mid 60s by 10 o'clock tonight. And of course, we'll see them drop even further back in those mid to upper 50s to start off our Friday morning with a few clouds off along our northern counties. Of course, everyone will start to see more clouds heading on through our two, our Friday afternoon. Now, here's the cool thing. With the with the clouds out there, we will see the temperatures still warm in those lower 80s, even some spots pushing the mid 80s down in the coal fields tomorrow afternoon. So a very warmer day compared to what we've seen today. But we are going to see those clouds linger on throughout most of our evening time as well. And temperatures will slowly start to back off back into those mid lower to mid 60s, starting off our Saturday morning under mostly sunny skies across the board on Saturday, but that is going to start to change. We're going to see those clouds continue to roll on in ahead of that cold front. Even some showers starting to start to develop down to our south. We will stay mostly dry across the region. Futurecast is trying to put just a few showers over Greenbrier County. I don't think we will see them on Saturday, but we will start to see them rolling on in heading into the day on Sunday as well. So definitely keep that in mind. Definitely get out and do all your outdoor activities Saturday because we're going to attract those rain chances heading into the day on Sunday. Now, of course, we're also attracting some humidity to come along with that cold front as well. You can see the humidity that is really going to ramp up heading into the day on Saturday, into the day on Sunday. Dew points will reach back in those mid 60s, even pushing near 70 degrees at times throughout our weekend. So definitely a more humid weekend for us, but at least we'll have a couple more days of some fairly comfortable humidity values throughout the next couple of days before things really start to ramp back up ahead of that cold front. And like I said, we're also tracking those light rain chances. Now they're not terribly high rain chances, but still about 30% on Sunday, 40% Monday, and again, another 30% on Tuesday as things start to dry back out once again. So just to recap everything, get outside, enjoy the nice weather while we have it in store for both Friday and Saturday because those rain chances are going to return for the backside of the weekend in the early part of next week.